everybody, I'm Holly Norman and thank you for joining me on the making of Taking Care of Bluegrass, my latest bluegrass project. It's a tribute to Elvis Presley and I am very excited for you to hear about it. <laughs> Definitely one of the highlights of my Taking Care of Bluegrass project was the day that James Burton came to the studio to record with us. I never dreamed that I could get James Burton on this project, but it's been a dream come true. It was a magical day. He just so happened to be coming to Nashville to work on the Imperials latest album. So we decided to have him come in and do Kentucky Rain. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you that he took it from here to here, it was unbelievable. The track we created was really neat in the first place, but when James came on, he just put his heart and soul into it and it was just amazing. He came in and was so down to earth and so sweet and nice and kind, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, this is a guitar legend. This is James Burton. And of course, aside from being Elvis's guitarist for all those years, he was with another one of my idols, Emmy Lou Harris. He played dobro and guitar on all of her great hits from the 70s and 80s. So I was thrilled. <laughs> James came in, he even picked up a resonator uh, guitar on his way into the studio that day, started playing it. He didn't like the way it sounded, so he sat down and changed the strings to make sure he got just the sound that he wanted. <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong with a Merle Haggerty song, can you? Mm -hmm. James really put his heart and soul into this track. I mean, by the end of the session, he came out and had blistered his fingers playing so hard. The track is so amazing, and it was just such a treat for me. I know it's going to be a treat for the Elvis fans. <laughs> Delivered. I didn't know that there are accidents in James Burton's world. 